Well, these guys are now starting to uh, pour out of the hive for work, it appears. I fed them this morning. Uh, this is day 12. And like I said before in the other video, there's about a thousand of them in there. The Queen had something like 1,000, something like 3,000 bees on the wall uh, when I took her. And of course they escaped the box and I only had about 500 until about the previous day or the day before. They're getting much better to handle too. I can open the box um, without them really getting too upset and lift the frame without them getting too upset. So they've just had honey across the, the front of the hive as I, I did before and they're now starting to get around and come out of the uh, the hive and go off to work. Also seen uh, the, the reputable point of one bee landing this morning and going into the hive uh, has what I call the Nike pump steel caps uh, of carrying pollen on the back end because they carry very large pieces of pollen when they uh, forage all of those bees. I've never seen one go in and out of the, uh, the wild hive wall without huge lumps of pollen on the back legs. It's always got huge lumps of pollen. Very nice stuff. There goes one on the left. One just went in on the left. Uh, incidentally, if you can see that little yellow dot there sitting on the landing board, that's just a piece of pollen I, uh, that comes from what I bought as food for them. And uh, I put some of that in there this morning too. They've sort of been doing something with it when I put it in there. They've cleaned most of it out of there. Uh, the comb has been being filled with forage and so a little bit of the honey I saw the previous day. Uh, it's too covered in bees right now. I took a look earlier, as you'll see in another video. Just explaining one thing about this hive here, uh, and the fact it was 37.4 degrees Celsius, that tin roof on the top, uh, there's a masonite cover underneath. And it's also, as you can see, ventilated with two sets of holes on uh, the front end, you can't see it, but at the rear also, lets air through under the tin. When that tin is in the sun, it gets to something like uh, 100, anything from 70 to 100 degrees Celsius. So it's obviously just too flipping hot for anything in there, and it can kill about one third of the brood when it's only a brood box itself like that is. Because the radiation from it is immense, unless there's a gap between it and a shield which is that masonite board strip that you can almost see underneath the uh, the vents there. So there's about two inches of uh, separation between the tin and the shield that goes over the top and the shield at the top inside has a, a hole in the center for ventilation so that, that air can be uh, pumped through by the bees when they want to stand along the board there and uh, flap their wings as a pump. I don't know how well this thing focuses when you move in on it. It is certainly morning and they are certainly coming out to go off to work. And my hands shake too much. So anyway, that's the result.